Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I am going to show you the anatomy of a GED question. I'm going to show you how the GED questions actually work. But before I jump into that, let me give you some of the basic facts of the test, just in case you don't know. The GED math test is organized into two parts. Part one is five questions. You cannot use a calculator. And part two is 41 questions, and you can use a calculator. You have 115 minutes to complete these 46 questions of part one and part two. And beyond the two parts, part one and part two, the GED test is also organized in two more parts. The first part is basic math, which is 45% of the test. And the second part is algebra, which is 55% of the test, and which is the area where most people have trouble. But as I promised in this video, I'm gonna share with you the anatomy of a GED problem, but you need to understand the secret sauce of this test. This test is based upon something called Webb's depth of knowledge. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about that here in this video, but let me just give you a very high level view of what this is. There are four depths of knowledge. Depth of knowledge one is just basic recall. Do you kind of can you read something and, and know it? Is it very simple to read and understand? Is it a, a simple skill? Depth of knowledge two is skills and concepts. You know, do you know how to solve a percent? Do you know how to find the area of a rectangle? Do you know how to find um, the length of a right triangle using Pythagorean theorem, for example? Depth of knowledge three is going to require a little bit more strategic thinking, more uh, what they call decision points, um, places in the problem where you come to where you have to make a decision about what to do. And then depth of knowledge four is extended thinking. Uh, and on the GED test, there are no depth of knowledge four questions, but there are depth of knowledge one, depth of knowledge two, and depth of knowledge three. So brief history here, uh, GED and Pearson View, uh, GED being the testing service and uh, Pearson View being a large educational publisher got together and created something called the GED testing service. And their big accomplishment was the new 2014 GED test. And so they have uh, incorporated this uh, depth of knowledge. They've also incorporated the common core standards. In order to pass the GED test, you have to score 145 points. Okay, and this is true in most states in the country who continue to recognize the GED test. So let's jump in. Here is a basic uh, number sentence, 250 divided by 1,150 equals 0.217. Okay, so if you saw this problem on the GED test part one, which is more of a computation part of the test where you can't use a calculator, if you saw this question on there, most of you would be able to do the math to figure out this question. But that will be just a simple depth of knowledge one question. Now, if we wanted to advance this to depth of knowledge two, if we would bring in a skill or a concept like I shared with you earlier. So now we take that basic math and we put it in a word problem, which now requires you to have the skill and um, and requires you to have some concept here. So Henry paid two hundred and fifty dollars for a couch that was originally one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. What percent of the original cost did he pay? So you, in this example, you would need to know uh, that there's three parts to a percent uh, problem. There's part, base, and rate, and you would need to understand that what you see here before you are the part and the base. 250 is the part, 1,150 is the base. What you also would need to know is that um, in order to find the rate or the percent, as the question is asking, you're going to have to divide the part, 250, by the base. So you see that. So that same basic math that you just did on the previous slide. Now I can take that same math and make it a depth of knowledge two question by introducing a concept, by introducing a skill that you would need to know to solve this problem. Again, this is how the GED test works. So what I'm doing from you, I'm doing for you. I'm just breaking it down from the very depth of knowledge one. Then I'm stepping it up to depth of knowledge two. Now let's go to depth of knowledge three. 
So now we're going to take this question and we're going to say the same question. Henry paid $250 for a couch that was originally $1,150. What percent of the original cost did he save? So you notice in the previous slide, going back to that, we saw that it was about what did he pay? But in this slide, the question asks, how much did, did he save? And this is where it becomes a little bit more strategic and it moves now to depth of knowledge three, because not only do you need to have the skill and the concept of a percent, but you also need to understand and make a decision point here that the word save means that what they're looking for is not the 250 that he paid, but in fact, they're looking for the $900 that he saved right so he paid 250 but the amount that he saved was 900 so if we wanted to find the percent that he saved we would have to take the number 900 which would then become the part then against the base of 1150 which it continues to be the base and do the math there so you would see that if you made this mistake you would choose one or two thinking it was 21 percent or maybe 22 percent if you needed to round up um, but in this case the answer would be 0.782 or just 78 percent so again this is how the GED test works and these are the skills that I am teaching every day to my students so that they can have success on the GED test this is just one of many examples of things that I do to prepare my students for success success. Now, I want to share with you uh, a way for you to begin, okay? And this is a little uh, online ebook that I put together. It's called Questions and Answers from the Online GED Course. And so this is from an online GED course that I operate uh, and that students can participate in. And this ebook is just simply three questions uh, from this online course. So you'll see real questions from real students uh, in this online ebook as you read through it. And then you'll see the video responses to my students questions right there in this interactive uh, online ebook and most importantly you're going to learn how to use y equals mx plus b or the slope intercept form this is one of the areas that many people when they're working on algebra really struggle with and best of all you can get this ebook for free uh, if you're watching this video on youtube you can look at the, the in the description section and there's a link there you can click on it it will take you right to this ebook and you can do it right now or you can save the link and do it at another time when you have more time to do something Something like that um, but give yourself at least 30 minutes to get through this ebook because the videos there are great because they break down these questions in a way that really help you to understand what's going on and then finally uh, if you want to get serious about passing the GED test I definitely recommend the get your GED now test preparation series I want to tell you about this six DVD series along with the 200 plus page study binder that you can get delivered to your home uh, by going to my website www.mygedlive.com you'll see uh, more information about this particular package but this breaks it down for you lays out all the lessons that you need to be successful on the GED test in 2016. Again, this has been GED teacher Damon Tennant. Uh, I'm sorry this video is a little bit long. Uh, it's about nine minutes. But again, these are important concepts. So I hope that you've taken the time to watch this video. I hope you get the uh, the online ebook, and I hope you seriously consider the Get Your GED Now test preparation series. It is really the key to you passing the GED test in 2016. Thank you.